हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस लाइव स्ट्रीम आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ए न्यू लाइब्रेरी ऑफ एंगुलर व्हिच लेट्स यू ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप योर फाइल्स एंड ट्राई टू अपलोड इट टू द सर्वर सो द लाइब्रेरी नेम इज एनजीएक्स एक्स ड्रैग फाइल ड्रॉप दिस इज द लाइब्रेरी नेम विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस लाइब्रेरी यू विल बी एबल टू ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप फाइल्स टू द सर्वर एंड अपलोड इट सो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू द डेमो ऑफ दिस लाइब्रेरी this is the demo application so basically this is the interface which you get so simply you need to drag and drop your files whichever files you need to upload and uh, after that it will give you the path size and the last modified date so basically if i open this here if i see here go to the downloads folder so basically if i see here go to the any file that i want to upload you will see if i drag down this file here this will be able to drop if i go to the downloads if i drag drop you will see that now this file is uh, successfully uploaded and this has got a name this has got the size and also last modified date so with the help of this you can drag drop you will see that once again like this depending upon the size it will take some more time you know to upload it so once it is uploaded it will give you the size you can see that it is simple drag and drop functionality so first of all it will give you the name it will give you the size and last modified date so basically this is the library guys here you can also select multiple files in order to upload it to the directory so if you select multiple two files so so you can just upload it multiple number of times and now you will see this is the name this is a size and this is the last modified date so this is a library we are using here which is ngx file drop so you can just see this is got a weekly downloads of 128556 so it's a very popular module and the instructions are very much simple you just need to install this module by simply invoking this command which is ngx file drop after that there is a simple users instruction so all the step by step instruction is given and all the source code is also given and i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website coding siksha so if you want to download all the source code you just need to go to the video description link to download all the source code so inside my live stream you will see this is the link if you go to this uh, video description you will find out this link so simply you need to download the source code simply go to the video des description link and download all the source code and you will be able to download the source code of this application so let's start building this application from scratch so i will just uh, go into my projects directory and make a new directory drag drop so first of all guys you will make a new project which will be drag drop so this will create a new project inside this directory so first of all it will ask some questions to you that once if you want to include routing and it will also ask you about the style sheet so we don't need routing and we only need css so if you just created it, it will install all these packages so once these packages are installed we will be able to build this application so if you just search for this library so it's a very popular library which is ngx file drop which is essentially used for drag and drop files and upload it to the server so 128000 weekly downloads are there so it is just installing the packages so just wait so if you are new to the channel then please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well for more videos like this so it is just installing it
so now guys you can see it has successfully installed the packages so now we can open this uh, we can go to the projects directory and open this inside visual studio code text editor so now you will find out this is a brand new angular project so it doesn't contain anything so it's a brand new angular project so first of all what we need to do is that we need to install this library which is uh, npmi ngx file drop simply we need to install this library so npx file drop so if you just install this uh, library sorry this is ngx not npx so ngx file drop so install this module so this will install this so now after installation you just need to include this library inside your angular application for doing this it is pretty simple you need to go to app.module.ts file and first of all we need to import the http client module which is this module which is http client module and this needs to be imported from at the rate angular slash common slash http so after that we also need uh, the form module as well so we will import it so this is available from angular forms package so install this and also we need to import the ngx file drop module so include this module so this is included from ngx file drop so after doing this guys we just need to go to the imports array and uh, include all these modules which is forms module and ngx file drop modules so now after including all this simply close this file just go to your app.component.html file and here we need to write the html for the application so this is drag and drop and for this we will have a simple div which will have a class of center so this module guys ngx file drop so basically this is the actual module it takes some properties if you look at the documentation about this module so if you just go to the prop properties it takes on file drop these are all the events which it takes it can just accept uh, only a particular extension of files such as png jpg it can also accept a whole directory to be uploaded all these attributes are supported by it so we will be looking at uh, one by one how to attach this so inside this property in order to allow multiple files we will put this multiple property inside to true it's a boolean property and then if i just then we have got uh, another property for drop zone drop zone label so basically it is saying that uh, what is the label that you want to give so we will simply say drop files here we will simply say that so if you just now execute this application if you just run this application for ng surf so now basically it will have a button it will say to us that drop files here if i if it runs and it will be able to upload multiple files to the server because this multiple property is true so it is just in generating the browser just wait so it is compiled successfully so we can simply go to localhost 4200 so now basically guys you will see this is will be a button out there and it has got this label of drop files here 
so basically you can change this label to any label of your choice let's suppose I change to this you will see that instantly it will change so this you can customize accordingly so this is the functionality it comes with directly so after that we also have some more events out there so whenever you drop some kind of a file there is a event out there which is called as on file drop so let's suppose you drop a file so this event is called as on file drop so you will initialize a function to it so this function will trigger automatically whenever you submit or drag drop the file so I am calling this method as dropped so whenever you drag and drop any sort of file this method will automatically trigger which is this dropped event we have written this we have passed the event this is a way by which you can uh, know the user so now we need to go to app.component.ts file and now we need to actually write this method which is method to handle upload so this method will be pretty simple guys if you see how to do this this will be a simple public method which lets you handle this so public dropped so basically it will have the actual number of files which are uploaded so we will uh, call this as ngx file drop entry so this will be automatically uh, in, uh, just imported automatically by visual studio you'll see from ngx file drop so this will be an array because there will be multiple files if uh, you upload multiple files so inside this we can just say console log files so we will just uh, print out the information about the files which are uploaded so now basically uh, this is functional out there so basically if I try to upload any sort of file here and if I check the console you will see that it will be printed out this information this is contain two elements out there which is this file entry this is the full path of the file which is uploaded uh, it is not a directory it is a file so it is a file true this is the name of the file and this is a second entry of the file you will see that so if I change this automatically this will trigger you will see that now again there will be another entry you can see that sample.pdf so in this way guys uh, we are drag and dropping the files to the angular application and it is detecting it so in this way we have written this method which are printing out the information about the files which are uploaded so basically we can print out the information inside a table for doing this it is very simple we need to initialize this into a variable which is this dot files to files and we need to declare this files parameter at the very top so public files this will be a array ngx file drop entry and this will be an empty array by default so now every time you drop any sort of file this will be initialized to this so after this we can display this inside a simple table table like structure inside the HTML so we can just give this div a class of upload table so inside this table guys we will have a simple class of table table head and inside this we will have a simple name attribute and uh, inside the table body we will have the table row and we will loop through using the ng4 directive that you already know which is used for looping out arrays so we are passing this information guys you will see that this dot files to files you will see this is a files information that we are passing so we have this uh, let item of files and then we are taking an index variable which is used for looping through after this we are declaring an index variable which is equal to index and inside this we will print out this information inside table data so inside double query brackets we will just write you will print out the relative path of the file which is uploaded so now if I refresh it 
you will see that if I refresh the application drag and drop you will see it will be printing the name of the file which is uploaded which is sample.pdf so if I upload multiple files it will also work let's suppose so now you can see it is uploaded uh, four files this is first file second file third file fourth file so it is displayed the names of all the four files so in this way guys you can print out the names of the files which are uploaded so this is very easy way and coming back to the more events we can look here guys uh, if you just read the documentation you will find out the events uh, there is also a hover event also so basically when the file is over there is also this event which is on file over so that you can initialize it to file over again pass this event again event uh, another event is on file leave so you can just make this a little more customizable using these events just add some animations to it because these events are customizable you can track whenever the file is uploaded using these events and also you can have a customize button if you have to have using this tag which is ng template ng template and uh, inside this we can have a simple button of uh, browse files so basically whenever you click this button you will be also be able to upload files so this will be a type of button and we can attach a on click listener to it also so when we click this button what will happen so simply it will call this function which is open file selector so inside this template what we can do is that we can paste this code here so basically now you can see we are initializing this uh, let open file selector to open file selector method so inside this file you can initialize this method you can initialize these two events which are there if you refresh it you will also see this browse files method also so if you click this method you will also be able to upload files and also you can drag drop also which is also available so in this way guys we have looked about this uh, angular library which is a very handy library if you want to do drag and drop and upload files to the server so it's a very powerful library which has got 128 weekly downloads 128,000. if you want to get all the source code you can go to the video description link Please hit the like button, subscribe the channel and hopefully I will be seeing you in the next tutorial. If you have any sort of doubt you can ask in the comment section and I will be seeing you in the next video.